You've created your first digital product, you're sick of telling people about it. That's a good sign, by the way. And you're wondering where to go next. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to sell that digital product using Squarespace, even if you're feeling a little overwhelmed right now. Consider this a beginner's guide on how to get this done. So let's flip the screen and I'll show you exactly what you're looking at. Here we are in Squarespace. So this is what it's going to look like when you log in. This is actually an old site that I started and haven't used in quite a long time. So this was an idea for a business that I had that didn't quite pan out. And so what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to subscribe to a commerce plan in Squarespace so that I can set up my first product listing. For the demonstration, I'm just going to do one month. And now that I have signed up for my commerce plan, obviously, if you are ready to do this, you can do the yearly or you can choose monthly because the site isn't live for me anymore. I'm just going to stick with the monthly. I'm going to go back to my site. And now that this is live, the great thing about Squarespace is that it will prompt you so that you can start earning money through your Squarespace shop. So for example, we're going to hit continue we'll add some products for sale. I already have some, but I'll just show you really quickly how you might set up a pre-sale listing. In order to do that, you'll come down here to this navigation. You can go to your store and you can just add a product here. I'm gonna choose a digital product because it's digital. I'll add an image. Obviously that's not the thumbnail I would use. I would use something that is more akin to what I've taught in other YouTube videos. I would upload the PDF file of what they're downloading. Again, they're not gonna download a JPEG for sale. It would more likely be a PDF or a Word document file or maybe a zip file of both of them together. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my price. If I have any categories in order for people that are searching on my site to find these things, I'll add them here. Same thing with tags. If I wanna make this a featured product, I can. We wanna make sure that if this is a pre-sale listing, we're putting pre-sale here. And let's just pretend that this is a template for new clients for lawyers and we can add a little description here. If it is pre-sale, I'll start with something like this. And then underneath that, I'll just add a more traditional description. And this is all you need to get started is a title. If you do have it on pre-sale, like it's not made yet and you're, it's something that you wanna sell. Again, we have other YouTube videos all about that on this channel. So you'll wanna check that out, but you'll also wanna just let people know when the product will be delivered. And then obviously you need to have some sort of intro to the product, some sort of description, and then also list out the features of the product, including those thumbnails and everything that a normal product description page would have. If you wanna see everything that goes into a product description page and really make yours something to remember, you can check out the other videos I have on this channel. I'll link to some of those below. So we have everything we need here. And I'm actually gonna come down here to the SEO and I'm going to edit this description. So the thing that I'm going to do to edit it is I'm going to actually change the title because I might forget to take the presale out of the title listing and I don't want Google to keep that in the search result for everybody. So I'm just going to change the title and I'll click apply and then that will change it. So you saw it said presale before and now it just says template. When that's all done, I can hit save and publish if I'm ready to start selling this item immediately. It's on presale, so I am. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save and publish. There's my new product description and we can just kind of expand this and you can see what this looks like on my site. So whatever photos you have here, they will be able to click through them and they can add it to the cart. My card is up here, they can check out and they can purchase my products immediately, relatively easily on Squarespace. They make it pretty easy for your customers to check out. And that's all you have to do to make sure you have your Squarespace listings up and going, even if you don't have your products created yet. Now that you know how to have your Squarespace set up to sell on autopilot for you, it's time to get it out there. That's why I've linked to a couple different videos down below and one right here on your screen that you can continue watching to know how to make those sales on a consistent basis.